Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today I'm going to discuss how to get the equation of a parabola. Now from your previous drawings of graphs you know that f of x is equal to ax squared plus q. q was your turning points. So when we drawing graphs the first step is you're going to substitute your turning point in. Number two, you're going to substitute x and y. And your aim is to solve for a. Right, let us look at the following graph. Here we can see that the turning point is on minus 8. So we're going to have f of x is going to equal to ax squared minus 8. Then we are going to substitute the x and y that they've given us. So they've given us minus 3 and 10. We're going to put that in the places of my x and my f of x, which refers to y. So we're going to have in our y, 10. In our x, minus 3, all squared minus 8. Our whole aim is to ultimately solve for a. So solving, using your solving for x rules, your solving for unknown rules, you're going to change. You're going to bring this over, so we've got 18 is equal to 9a, because minus 3 squared is 9. Be careful, very often we see a negative 9. Remember, negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to positive 9. So be careful that you don't make, be careful that you don't make silly mistakes, right? Then divide by 9 and I have a is equal to 2. But when they say get the equation of the graph, you have to rewrite it. So we've got f of x is equal to 2 x squared and then our q was minus 8. In an equation, your final equation, the only unknowns you must have is your x and your f of x. Other than that, everything else must have a value. So my a's and my q's need to have values. Let us try another example. If you look at this graph, we've got f of x is going to equal to ax squared plus q. Now you should know that a parabola is a smiley face or a sad face and that is this equation. It's no use, you don't know your three basic equations which are parabola, hyperbola and exponential. If you don't know which equation goes to which graph then it doesn't matter if you know anything else because you'll be doing the wrong equation for the wrong graph, everything's already wrong. So you must know parabolas is the ones with the x squares. Substitute our turning point which is 16. Then we're going to substitute any other random point. So the random point we have is 1 and 12. y is 12, x is 1. So we have a is equal to 12 minus 16, which is equal to minus 4. Now how am I doing this? This is your soft x. Now let's take a third version. Now in this version, if they didn't give you the turning points, and they only gave you two points. Then what we do is, this is a slightly different version. You can know that f of x is equal to ax squared plus q. But we don't have the turning points. So what we do is we substitute our x and our y. So here we have 1 is equal to a into minus 1 all squared plus q. Giving us that a plus q is equal to 1. Then we substitute our second point. Our second point is 2 and minus 5. So we have minus 5 is equal to a into 2 squared plus q, giving me 4a plus q is equal to minus 5. Now look at what we have. We have a simultaneous equation. If I make q the subject of the first question, so we have 1 is equal to a plus q, and then we have minus 5 is equal to 4a plus q. So we have q is equal to minus 5 minus 4a. And here we have q is equal to 1 minus a. Now we can substitute this chunk into q. It's all under your simultaneous equations, under unknowns, solving for unknowns. It's all under simultaneous equations. So you have to know how to do this in order to do this level of sum. 
okay the norm is that they ask the first previous ones that we done but on rare occasions they ask this one so you have to know how to do this so we have minus a plus 4a is equal to minus 5 minus 1 so we have 3a is equal to minus 6 a is equal to minus 2 now once we have a we can go back and solve for q we know q is equal to 1 minus a so we've got Q is equal to 1 minus A, so which means Q is equal to 1 minus minus 2, which will give me 3. Q is equal to 3. Then rewrite your equation. Y or f of x is equal to minus 2 x squared plus 3. Thank you for watching.